Hey guys, welcome back. Um, I'm sorry. I I feel like I'm saying this every time, but I'm sorry. <laughs> I've been busy. <laughs> yeah. No, I've fallen into the depths of quarantine hell, and I've got no idea what day it is. And I feel like I recorded the last version, last episode of this, like, yesterday. But also, I know that I didn't. So, um, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Anymore, I haven't seen another human being in a little while, and I can't go outside properly, because I have, like, immuno... Uh, I'm immunocompromised and stuff, so, yeah. Now we see the results of your interference at Harlequin Station. You should not have provoked them. Despite what your father thinks, the Varaxo cannot be trusted. Clearly the Varaxo are trying to get back at us in their typical underhanded way. By planting contraband at one of our facilities, they hope to see the Empire seize our assets and put us out of business. Fortunately, I have come up with a plan that will turn the tables on them and beat them at their own game. I've had Aaron equip the Silu with a fake ID transponder. Masquerading as one of their regular suppliers, she will slip into their cargo facility at Dembo and sneak the spice in disguised as supplies. Immediately after she drops her cargo, you and Iman will conduct a quick hit and fade. This will cover her departure in case of a premature discovery of our deception. More importantly, it will provoke a visit from the local Imperial garrison. We can count on them to investigate quite thoroughly. And that container of spice will prove most embarrassing. The Xilu has been renamed the Venix by Aaron to enable her to sneak into the Varaxo cargo facility at Denbo, masquerading as one of their regular suppliers. The spice container has also been repainted so that its origin cannot be traced back to us. She will fall in among the normal traffic at Denbo and dump the spice at the facility. We will fly the Sabra and join Iman in the Andrasta to conduct a quick hit and fade on the facility during the cargo drop. This will provoke a visit from the local Imperial garrison within 15 minutes. We should be long gone by then. Once the Imperials get there, we can be sure they'll poke their noses into everything before leaving, and they're sure to discover the spice. So I failed the mission. And I'm restarting it now. I failed because I had my microphone in front of the objective screen, so I couldn't actually see what I had to do, so I didn't destroy enough stuff. So then when I flew back to the place to destroy some stuff, some Imperials came and identified me, and the fact that the uh, Imperials identified me means that we failed the mission. So I need to blow up more stuff. More quickly. And I feel like I can do that. Ugh. If I set turret to defensive mode, this becomes really lazy to play. So I'm gonna do that. To demonstrate this, I'm going to set my lasers to recharge. Um, let's do slow recharge, so I've got a bit more speed. Um, and then I'm going to play the rest of this with one hand. Just this hand, and this other one shall hold my coffee, which is almost empty. So, lazy way to play this is to set the turret to defensive mode, and then just whatever. So you can sort of... You can evade while you do this, which is good. Um, you can fly head on to someone, and then as soon as you get in range of firing, hey, fire hey, off two or three shots, range. and then immediately pull down. Defensive mode, and pull down. There we go. You want to make sure that your turret can always shoot. Your turret only fires in from like from above. But I think because it's set to defensive fire mode, it'll only shoot at stuff which would attack me. So. Well, you're not gonna believe this. You're gonna gotta make sure that. 
Oh my god. Oh, you could do. What do you say we remove the irritation? That's such a good So, oh my god! Shut up! I'm trying to do a let's play here, guys. I've never liked them more. Strange to dump and run under the circumstances. Message from Mission Critical Craft. They have completed their docking operation. So that's what I'm gonna do. Alright! Okay. Okay, there's a tug around here somewhere. There it is. Oh, right, it's right in front of me. Go. There's razor fighters. Razor fighters? Okay. I am probably. I am flying this incredibly lazily. Yeah, water. Water will do me. So. Quarantine's been difficult. Uh, I've been up to some interesting stuff there. I've made my own sauerkraut. It's quite tasty. Oh yeah, I should deal with that. Ooh. Okay, look. I'm now using two hands. I'm sorry. I had to turn around quickly. Whoop! See, so nine inch shield region. Ah, rough. Okay, everything's at full. Ugh. I could play this like super lazy if I was also paying attention somewhat. Boop. Yeah, defensive mode. My oh, there's my laser power. I dropped it fully. I'm a tool. All right, everything's at full. Now we can go. Now we can play. Here we go. All right, you're dead. You need to die as well. No, you're quite far away, so I'm going to do this mission critical craft. You're waiting, boarding. Alright, so I am just going after them. Throwing up some power to the shields. Where are they? There they are. Oh, sorry, my head is not in this at all. Um, it's, it's been a whole dang thing. Whole dang diddly thing. Right, so you're going after the Andrastus. You're going... Sort of alongside me, so if I now start to pull up about here, you'll start crossing my. Look at that! Look at that! See, I can, I can do things. There he goes. There he goes. Get away from my brother? I think it's my brother. I think he's supposed to be my brother. I kind of want to fly the Andrasta, frankly. Right, I'm gonna drop some of that shield power into. Just lasers, slight regen, so I get some more speed out of all this. Very impressive. And that goes. Uh, come on, I know you got this. I make myself a real big nuisance. Oh boy, I do need that lasers. Full recharge, don't I? Alright, so forward position, you are gonna die! Come on, come on! I don't feel like my uh, title as the greatest starfighter part of all time is kind of waning a little bit. And then again, I'm not in a starfighter, so that's my one defense right now. Come on. Oh, hello. And then back to you. There we go. This has also been taking a lot longer than it should. Where are you? You're over there. There it is. Now. What was the other thing? Okay, so. Real talk, and mention in the comments whether or not you agree with me, or, <laughs> we will like if you agree, um, is, uh, I don't know if I mentioned this or not, but during lockdown, it's been, I've declared this to be my year of RPGs. So while I've been in quarantine, uh, self-quarantine, I'm not, I'm not sick, I just have a compromised immune system. 
while um, I've been like this, I've been playing through a lot of games that I never got around to finishing. So... Message from Vitalcraft. They have completed their docking operation. Okay, I got our. Let's get out of here. I played Mass Effect 1 multiple times. I played Mass Effect 2 once. I think I got... We have to go now. I got most of the way through it playing it with a... Playing it with a former partner of mine, and then she left, and I was like, oh, I don't want to play that anymore, because it reminds me of her. Um, and then I went back and finished it, but then I never got around to playing Mass Effect 3. I somehow managed to avoid all spoilers for Mass Effect 3, and so I went back and played that, because it's my year of RPG, so I'm going to go play all the RPGs. Blah, 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 blah. And, um... Well... Frankly, I loved it, and although I can understand why people would be like, upset, sort of thing. Um, I'm a big fan, and if you don't like the ending, you're wrong. Uh, <laughs> but, but, so, hear me out. Hear me out, okay? A Starfighter sim like this, but you're flying the Starfighters from Mass Effect. I think that would be brilliant! Shut up, MK! I think that will be brilliant. Uh, well, I can leave a comment if you agree. Um, or if you disagree, let me know what you think. I would love to see something like that set... Uh, talking Mass Effect lore here. Uh, try, like, set... Maybe, like, the the human versus uh, Turian war would be a cool, a cool one. Or sometime just after that, where they've got, like, a joint uh, peacekeeping force going on or something um I, I think something like that would be really really cool and you know you fly an alliance starship and all that sort of stuff you know i think it could be cool i think it could be fun i love the designs of the starfighters i think the you turian ones look really fucking cool well, it was a good plan, wasn't it? yes yeah it was a good plan thank you very much um to, you know let me know what you think i think that would be really fucking cool um, Bioware, if you're listening, and I know you are, clearly you watch all of my stuff, um, uh, do the thing. Or, you know, uh, find someone who can do the thing for you, because, frankly, you should do the thing, and it would be really fucking cool. And not, like, not, like, an arcade style shooter. I want, like, I want, like, an X-Wing style. I want to... I want to have to use my joystick. I want, like, a million buttons. I want to be able to control all the different bits of the starship, but then still have it this rigid, like, combat sim, do your mission sort of thing. Not the really open thing of, um, of Elite Dangerous and that sort of stuff, but, you know, the simulator-esque level of detail and control of the ship, but placed in the context of, like, a mission-by-mission mission sort of solo, like, story-based, like, story-rich single-player campaign. You know what I mean? Do, do the thing, is what I'm saying. Where am I? Okay. There we are. So things didn't work out exactly the way we had planned. But all things considered, I think we were successful. The Varaxa will have a very hard time convincing the Imperial authorities that they knew nothing about that contraband. At the least, it will cost them a huge amount in fines and bribes to clear it all up. If we're lucky, they'll be put out of business. The loss of the sealer would be an insignificant price to pay for that. I can't wait to see the expression on Tomas's face when we tell him the story. He will be very proud of you. I don't think he will be. Frankly, I think that whole thing was really, really stupid. Good idea in... My light has died. My light has... I think the whole thing was a very silly, stupid idea. I think that, um... Because we were in, in there mixing up with the Vrak, so they would have scanned us, been like, Oh, these are the people who've been, who we've been fucking over and have been fucking us over the whole time because blah 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 blah. Uh, clearly this is a plot by them. They also have a Krillian, um... I was gonna say Krillian Corvette. They also have a YT-1300 Krillian Freighter, uh, which may have been this one here. 
which was destroyed. They could analyze the wreckage. They could um, send an auditor over to us and be like, oh, so where is your other YT-1300? Oh, it's gone. That's weird. You know, all these sorts of things. Stupid mission. Stu- like, the it, if it was, like, a cool, like, oh, uh, like, you, you, like, sneak it in, sort of, like, yeah, sneak in the spice, sure. But then don't send in some fighters clearly identified as, like, as a mean ships. Stupid. <laughs> Not smart. Anyway, that's, uh... That's my two cents. That is a cool gift you were given in the last mission. It is a cool gift. What is now it? Your dad is ticked off at us. You really know how to get us into trouble. <laughs> oh, wow. I wonder why our father could be annoyed with us. Well, there you go. The original nameplate of the ship Aaron was forced to abandon at the Raxo facility. It was renamed the Phoenix to avoid customs detection. Well, I guess we took the nameplate. Whatever. Anyway, see you next time, guys. I'm sorry for the rambliness. Sorry for being late again. Um, I might just record the next episode now so that I've got something for you and I'm, like, on it. You know? And then I can go back to Dragon Age and binging all of Star Trek. I'm gonna have a shower and a nap first. the sun